think that CIOs have to really get a good understanding of the business that they're CIO of, not just having a good understanding of the uh, portfolio of IT processes and systems. They have to understand how the organisation works because if you're going to provide good solutions for the organisation, then you have to have a really good understanding of how the business operates and where the business is going and making sure that there's an intersection between the IT strategy and the business strategy because really they've got to be one and the same the IT strategy has to be supporting the business strategy. Well, I think there's no doubt that, you know, obviously whenever a CIO comes to a, uh, um, an executive um, meeting, a budget meeting in regard to planned uh, developments, you know, there's always a business case. And I think the important thing is that the, uh, you know, the CIO drives those um, initiatives through in, in the way that they actually deliver on time and they deliver on budget. And that's one of the, the big problems that I've seen over many, many years in many different companies, and you've read many, many horror stories about IT um, systems or implementation failures because of underestimation, and I think also because the business has not been wholly involved in the process. Too many, in too many situations, you see the IT function being left to get on with IT without actually having a good linkage with the, the business, where the business should actually be sponsoring the initiative and the, and the project because they're the people that are actually going to get the benefits. So they should be making sure they capture the benefits by working closely with the IT function.